Welcome to Sleepscape Journeys. Tonight, we venture to Glimmer Grove, a realm vibrant with seasonal magic that has fallen into an endless winter by a dark spell. Imprisoning the phoenix, springs herald into a deep slumber. Join me tonight as we venture alongside a valiant fairy, selected by fate and the forest's ancient magic, on her noble quest to uncover a hidden power capable of reviving spring and liberating her enchanted realm from the icy grasp of eternal winter. Now, close your eyes and escape with me as your guide into this sleepscape journey. Deep within the heart of Glimmer Grove, a realm where the whispers of magic mingle with the breath of the earth, an ancient enchantment has cast a shadow here amid groves where sunlight dances through leaves of emerald and gold and streams sing melodies of forgotten lore the golden phoenix once heralded the arrival of spring its fiery wings dispersing the chill of winter with a promise of renewal Yet now, this verdant paradise, a haven for mystical beings who harmonize with the season's ebb and flow, stands frozen at the cusp of spring, ensnared in a winter wrought by a dark fairy's curse. This malevolent spell has lulled the phoenix into a deep, unwakeable sleep, leaving the once vibrant forest cloaked in an endless frost. Glimmer Grove, celebrated across realms for its springtime beauty, a tapestry of blossoming flora and fauna where fairies flit under the moon's gentle glow and creatures of legend roam free, now whispers of hope. The forest, a living entity, guardian of ancient secrets and wisdom, speaks of a dream crystal, hidden deep within the labyrinth embrace of the dream valley. This crystal harbors the essence of awakening and the power to dispel the frost's grip, summoning back the cycle of growth and warmth of spring. As the perpetual winter weaves its icy tendrils through time, entwining the future with the past, the forest's magic stirs, choosing a bearer for this quest. It sends forth a frost that meanders through Glimmer Grove, past whispering meadows and babbling brooks, to rest upon the dwelling of a fairy, marking her as the chosen one. This fairy, known among her kin for a heart as pure as the forest's crystalline streams, and a spirit as light and swift as the wind, is Wren. Celebrated for her compassionate soul, 
and courage that resonates as deeply as the ancient oak's roots. Ren's profound connection to the natural world sets her apart. She is a melody of the earth itself, attuned to its deepest murmurs, the secrets carried by the wind and the songs of the stars, also known as the one in harmony with the forest's heartbeat. As the first light of dawn touched the tips of Glimmer Grove, Ren stood at the edge of her known world, poised to step into legend. Her heart, a mix of courage and quiet fears, beat a rhythm of determination that echoed the forest's ancient call. Despite the swirling doubts that clouded her thoughts, like the morning mist, Ren accepted the quest with the grace that bellied her inner turmoil. The forest creatures, from the smallest leaf to the oldest tree, seemed to lean in closer, whispering their encouragements and sharing their strength. The fairy elders, wise with the weight of many seasons, offered words of guidance, weaving their trust in her spirit with the magic of old blessings. Guided by the subtle language of the forest, the whisper of leaves, the dance of shadows, and the soft ghostly glow of bioluminescent flowers marking a path only visible to those meant to follow. Ren embarked on her journey to the Dream Valley, the forest alive with the dawn chorus of its creatures seemed to watch over her, its magic pulsating softly underfoot. A gentle reminder of the bond between the fairy and the ancient land. The magical path led her through a forest alive with mystery. Across babbling streams that sparkled like jewels under the sun. And beneath the towering trees that draped her in dappled light. With each step, the importance of her mission pressed upon her. Briefed by the fairy elders that she would have to face her deepest fears, decipher the riddles woven into the fabric of nature and see through illusions that might lead her astray. Yet, in this enchanting wilderness, Ren was guided by the forest's ancient magic. Its soft murmurs in the breeze were her encouragement, gently pushing her forward when doubts began to cloud her mind. Deep within the forest, as she neared the dream valley, she began to grasp the true nature of her quest. It was a journey that promised not only to uncover the fate of the Glimmer Grove, but also to reveal the strength and bravery of heart willing to venture into the unknown. The guardian of the dream valley stood as a mystical sentinel at the gateway between the familiar 
and the mysterious. Shrouded in the natural beauty of the forest and imbued with the ancient wisdom of the land, the guardian was a majestic presence, its form shifting like shadows of twilight seemed as if carved from the night itself, with stars sparkling in its eyes. The guardian's voice, echoing the symphony of the natural world, was filled with the profound depth of ages, speaking of the eternal cycle of growth and decay. In its presence, Ren felt a deep, intrinsic connection to the life force of Glimmer Grove. The Guardian, with its roots deep in the earth, symbolized the balance of life, offering both challenges and guidance. Standing before it, Ren was reminded of the interconnectedness of all living things and the vital role she played in this grand tapestry of life. The Dream Valley Guardian explains to Ren that she must undergo three trials, each symbolizing a pivotal stage in life's journey, akin to the transition of seasons within the heart of nature. The guardian then opens the portal into Dream Valley and with a gentle gesture invites Ren to enter. Suddenly, Ren finds herself on a quaint wooden bridge, arching gracefully over the lake's edge. Beside her, the guardian, a silent figure of wisdom, releases a single seed into the lake's dark embrace. With a gesture that bridges words, the guardian signals Ren. She must dive into the murky depths to retrieve what was sown. A whisper fills her mind, clear amidst the silence. In the heart of darkness, let the seed of light be sown. With no hesitation, she takes a deep breath and then plunges into the cool embrace of the lake, the water enveloping her in its murky clasp, blurring her sight and engulfing her in a world of silence. As Ren continued to plunge deeper and deeper into the murky waters, her journey became a battle against the elements. The water, dense and unyielding, clung to her like a second skin, chilling her to the bone. She fought her way downward her limbs growing heavy as the murky embrace of the lake fought her every move. The darkness below was total, a void where even the sharpest eyes could see nothing but shadows. The lake's bottom was a maze 
of silt and unseen obstacles. Each moment spent searching, costing her precious air and warmth. Her fingers numbed by the cold, fumbled with the seed, dropping it several times into the soft, shifting mud. Panic fluttered in her chest, a bird trapped in a cage, as she struggled to plant the seed properly. Beneath the water's surface, an eerie stillness wrapped around Ren, her heartbeat and the faint movements of unseen creatures, the only breach in the silence. The solitude, a weight upon her shoulders, magnified the task at hand. Fueled by a blend of desperation and determination, she managed to anchor the seed into the murky bed of the lake. As she propelled herself upwards, craving the air above, her limbs protested with exhaustion. Just as the moon's silver light seemed within reach, an unexpected force seized her ankles, dragging her back toward the lake's mysterious depths. Panic flashed through her, but her instincts took over. With a swift motion, she brandished her wand casting a spell that severed the unseen hold. Breaking through to the surface, Ren grasped for the cool night air, a stark contrast to the oppressive darkness below. Racing to the safety of the shore, she narrowly escaped the shadows that lingered just beneath the surface reaching for her in vain. As she clambers onto the lake's edge, Ren's form is soaked, her attire clinging to her like the aftermath of a tempest. Each breath she draws is heavy, laden with the weight of the unknown that had ensnared her in the water's depths. She hastens up the bank, her mind racing with the eerie encounter beneath the waves. And the cryptic message that had propelled her into the depths. In the heart of darkness, let the seed of light be sown. This whisper, both a directive and a mystery echoes in her heart as she pauses, pondering the significance of what just transpired and the unseen forces that lie beneath. As if time itself bends to the will of the dream realm, days blur into a rapid succession of dawns and dusks each cycle marked by the moon's passage. And then, in the soft luminescence of moonlight, magic stirs below. From the depths, a plant ascends, breaking the surface tension to reveal the emergence of life anew. Unfurling in the tranquility of the lake is a pink lotus flower, radiant and defiant in its beauty, blooming as a testament to resilience, growth, and the unexpected miracles that lie beneath the surface.
As the lotus flower's beauty fades, Ren is transported to a meadow where the summer's warmth fights through the veil of gathering clouds. The air thick with the promise of a storm carries the distant rumble of thunder closer with every passing moment. The skies above morph into a tapestry of dark, ominous clouds, heralding the approach of the tempest. Soon, rain begins to fall, light at first, then with the relentless intensity that soaks Ren to the bone. Her hair, clothes, and wings become soaked, weighing her down and making each movement a struggle against the growing storm. Once a gentle caress, the wind now howls with fury, tossing her about with indifference like a leaf caught in its grasp. Lost in the storm's embrace, she becomes a kite without a string, vulnerable to the storm's whims as she races for cover into the thick, shadowy depths of a forest. In the heart of the storm, Ren finds herself in a transformed forest where once familiar paths now rage with torrential streams and the relentless wind endangers the towering ancient trees. Overwhelmed by fear as debris flies and unseen eyes lurk in the shadows, her wings become a burden, anchoring her to the chaos below. Lightning illuminates her isolation, revealing her as a lone figure against the storm's fury. Shielding her face from the wind and rain with her forearm, Ren notices an ethereal butterfly gliding through the storm ahead. This glowing white light flutters serenely, seemingly untouched by the tempest's fury. In that moment, Ren understands that succumbing to panic won't help her. Instead, she needs to face the storm's wrath with calm and composure, not haste and turmoil. Tapping into her natural creativity and deep bond with nature, Ren begins to draw musical notes in the air with her fingertips. Emitting a soft glow, these notes weave a silent melody that resonates with the storm's heart. Miraculously, the storm's intensity starts to diminish the winds grow calmer, the rain becomes lighter, and thunder softens, all in harmony with the cadence of friends' musical notes. This melody creates an invisible calm force around her giving her the clarity and space to think. No longer just surviving the storm, she conducts it, guiding its energy with the grace of her song. Ren seeks sanctuary, letting her instincts guide her steps to higher ground, to a cave that offers refuge from the relentless storm. Once she makes it there, her magic fades 
and the storm comes alive once again with intensity. Here she kindles a fire. The flickering flames cast a soft glow, transforming the cave into a haven of warmth and light. Outside the storm rages on, but its sounds once harbingers of fear now lull her into a sense of serenity. The menace of the storm shifts, revealing the majesty of nature's raw power. And in this sheltered space, Ren finds peace. The Tempest's fury becomes a backdrop to introspection. Its once frightening cadence, now a symphony that underscores the resilience of the spirit and the rhythms of the natural world. It is here, in the cave's embrace, that the guardian of the dream valley reappears, revealing the true nature of Ren's ordeal. The trial of summer, strength and resilience, was not just about surviving the storm, but embracing it as a metaphor for life's challenges. This trial symbolic of one's prime is a testament to the strength of facing adversity head on, recognizing that resilience is forged in the crucible of trial. In that pivotal moment, Ren's perception shifts. She understands that her trials are more than mere hurdles. They are veiled lessons imparting the essence of true strength, which lies in the bravery to press forward, even amidst uncertainty. The guardian acknowledging her insight presents her with a scroll bearing a riddle. As autumn whispers, what must you embrace for leaves to churn and find their resting place? Transported Within this dreamlike domain, Ren witnesses an apple tree's miraculous cycle of life unfold before her. Tiny white buds blossom into rich scarlet apples, filling the air with their sweet fragrance, only to inevitably succumb to the cycle of decay, their vibrancy fading to the earthy hues of autumn. This relentless loop of blooming and withering before her eyes mirrors the riddle's deeper meaning. Despite her earnest efforts, Casting spells in hopes of halting the tree's cycle of renewal and decay, she finds her magic unable to disrupt the natural order. Faced with the persistence of change, she revisits the scroll, pondering the riddle anew. As autumn whispers, what must you embrace for leaves to churn? and find their resting place. What was eluding her grasp? As she contemplates 
witnessing the ceaseless cycle of the apple tree, from budding to the arrival of winter, Ren finds beauty in the tree's ever-shifting nature. It dawns on her that the riddle's answer is change. This was the trial of autumn, a lesson of letting go and of preparation. It was a stark yet gentle reminder of the importance of releasing, welcoming change, and readying oneself for life's inevitable cycles. This trial reflects the wisdom of acceptance and the poignant beauty of transitions, mirroring the essence of fall itself. Upon the completion of these trials, the guardian, with a nod as ancient as the stars, acknowledges Ren's answer to its riddle in the end. Recognizing her resilience, wisdom, and the grace she embraced each season of life, the guardian deems her worthy. The Dream Valley Guardian sweeps aside, and suddenly, She discovers herself venturing deeper into the heart of a cavern where the veils between worlds grow thin and the air thrums with ancient magic. With a deep breath and a steady heart, she steps forward, entering a realm unlike any other a cavern vast and awe-inspiring, its ceilings lost to darkness, giving way to a vista that mirrors the night sky itself. A starry expanse unfolds above her, a cosmic dance of light and shadow, where unknown constellations paint stories of old magic and eternal mysteries. In the cavern's center, cradled by the very essence of the earth, grows the dream crystal. The crystal glows with an inner light soft and pulsing, echoing the rhythm of life that flows beneath the world's surface. The air around the crystal vibrates with energy, charged with the anticipation of destiny being fulfilled. As Ren approaches, each step resonates through the cavern her presence acknowledged by the ancient guardians of this sacred place. The dream crystal sensing the purity of her quest shines even brighter, casting prismatic rays that dance across the stone walls, illuminating ancient carvings that tell the tale of the phoenix's first dawn. Reaching the heart of the cavern, Ren extends her hand, her spirit resonating with the crystal's ancient melody. The moment of contact is electric, a convergence of wills, 
a meeting of souls. The cavern erupts in a symphony of light, the crystal's energy surging, enveloping Ren in a radiance that transcends the physical, linking her essence to the cycle of renewal and rebirth. Holding the dream crystal close, Ren undergoes a stunning metamorphosis. The crystal with its deep magic adorns her in a cascade of sparkling jewels that weave into her garments, making her wings gleam with a multifaceted brilliance of diamonds catching the light. Her hair glistens with minuscule crystals, casting her in an ethereal glow, reminiscent of sunlight dancing on a serene lake surface in midsummer. Now she embodies the cycle of life itself, bridging the realms of light and dark, life and renewal. The cavern bearing witness to this profound transformation resounds with the sound akin to distant thunder, marking both the conclusion of her quest and the dawn of a new era. As Ren turns to leave, the starry expanse above seems to nod in approval, the constellations aligning in silent homage to her courage and determination. With the dream crystal secure, the path forward is clear, leading towards the awakening of the sleeping phoenix and the renewal it will bring to the enchanted forest of Glimmer Grove under the watchful eyes of the cosmos itself. With the dream crystal now secured within her gentle grasp, Ren retraces her path back to the heart of the enchanted forest where the phoenix's nest awaits. This sacred site hidden from the unguided eye is a cradle of ancient power and beauty. Nestled atop the oldest tree, the nest is woven from the silver branches of the moon willow, shimmering with life of its own. Its luminescent leaves under the soft glow of dawn cast ethereal patterns on the forest floor, painting the surroundings in hues of hope and awakening. The air around the nest thrums with latent energy, anticipating the return of its eternal guardian. The forest itself attuned to the rhythms of magic and time, senses the nearing presence of the dream crystal. A subtle shift sweeps through the woods. Ice begins to melt, revealing the tender shoots of new life beneath. Creatures of the forest long slumbered in winter's embrace, stir, their eyes opening to the promise of renewal. From the tiniest insect to the stoic elk, all turn their senses towards the phoenix nest where destiny is about to unfold. At the nest, Ren finds the phoenix in its enchanting slumber. 
the creature's beauty is beyond words. Feathers in a thousand shades of sunrise span across its form, each quill shimmering with the light of dawn's first touch, its breath a soft melody harmonizes with the subtle music of the forest, while its serene face, framed by the gentle curve of its wings, holds the tranquility of the ages. With reverence, Ren approaches, placing the dream crystal at the Ness's heart. The crystal responding to its sacred charge unfurls like a blossom of pure light, its radiance intensifying. This light pulsating with the essence of life itself begins to envelop the phoenix, weaving around it like the gentlest of caresses. The warmth generated by the crystal's glow penetrates the magical cocoon, encasing the phoenix, infusing the ancient bird with the energy needed to break the cycle of rest and rise once more. As the enchanted forest holds its breath, the moment is suspended in time. Then, with the brilliance that outshines the dawn, the phoenix stirs, its eyes opening like twin suns piercing the morning mist. The transformation is immediate and awe-inspiring. The cocoon dissolves into a shower of light, and the phoenix stretches its magnificent wings, reborn once again. The awakening of the phoenix heralds a new beginning for the enchanted forest, a time of growth and renewal. Its first cry, a sound that resonates with the very soul of the world, sends waves of vitality through the forest. Where the phoenix's gaze falls, life flourishes, and where its feathers touch the earth, the scars of winter heal. In this sacred moment, Ren stands as more than a fairy. She is the bridge between cycles, a guardian of transitions, whose courage and heart have brought forth a new dawn for the forest. As the phoenix takes to the sky, its flight painting the horizon with ribbons of light, Glimmer Grove awakens fully, bathed in the warmth of spring, a testament to the eternal cycle of life, death, and rebirth. With a majestic unfurling of its fiery wings, the phoenix rises, its form a blaze of beauty and power. As it takes to the sky, circling above the canopy, its tears of joy, glittering like molten gold, fall gently to the earth. Where they touch, life erupts. Flowers bloom in a riot of color. Trees burst into leaves and the forest floor teems with the stirrings of new life. 
that Phoenix's flight is a spectacle of transformation, each beat of its wings dispelling the remnants of cold, each cry affirming the promise of renewal. The forest, once silent in the grip of winter, now sings with the voices of countless creatures, a symphony of life reborn. This is the cycle of renewal, a testament to the resilience of life and the enduring magic of the forest, witnessed once more under the watchful eyes of all the fairies of Glimmer Grove. As dusk falls, Ren and the Phoenix share a quiet farewell. The Phoenix ascends its departure, marked by a trail of warmth, glowing sparks, lighting up the evening sky. Feeling a deep sense of accomplishment and peace, Ren heads back to her nook within the forest. Her mission fulfilled. Thus, Glimmer Grove, now vibrant and alive with the magic of spring, stands as a testament to the enduring cycle of nature. The story of Wren and the Phoenix remains a legacy, inspiring all within the forest to believe in the power of hope and the magic that lies in new beginnings.